new HTP Inver Arc 160 Plus. How do you like the machine? The machine's good. It's a very convincing machine, it's good. I was a little bit doubtful for its size, but it actually packs a punch. I'm liking these compact machines more and more. Make sure you got your polarity right. Sticks positive. Alright, so we stick welding this wedge. This is like an eight way wedge. It's supposed to have one, two, three here, and one, two, three down there. Like that splits it. So it makes four pieces on the left and four pieces on the right. So here's what it looks like in action it clamps it down, it cuts it, it falls down in the tray. And then that big pusher plate, that hydraulic cylinder, sends it through that wedge, and there it splits all the wood. Now two of these pieces were like heavily bent or tore off, so we're straightening this out. So by the way, to cut it like this and then weld it back together, even with preheat and even with 130,000 tensile strength uh, filler rod, that doesn't work too well. We're welding them back on. Here, this is a before picture. Has a natural curve to it, makes it real nice, relieves the wood. And then uh, Tim air arced that out already earlier. And we're stick welding this on with uh, Rock Mount Brutus A. So that rod has like 130 some thousand PSI tensile strength. You can't torch it off with an oxy acetylene torch. There is some stainless in it, but it makes for if, if you really need strength, you want it to not tear out anywhere ever, that's the rod you want to use. So now we're going to fix this one here, straighten this back out. Rumor is it's AR400. I could cut it in the bandsaw, I don't think it's AR400. Uh, it is a little bit harder than just mild steel, but not that much. But I think also what happens is as it's being welded here, it kind of hardens the, the knife itself a little bit. And what happens there is it then cracks just above. See that hairline crack coming in here? Tim, you see we didn't fix that. That hairline crack coming in there. Let's go in there with the grinder and just hog that hairline crack out before we do this. Good thing I looked at that, man. Alright, so this is where we straighten out the bent part. We cut it open, big V, bend it back, welded it up, nice and straight now. And then here there was a there was a crack in it. There was a crack in it, chased that crack out, welded it up. It needs a little bit more grinding in the front to be a little bit sharper and not as blunt when the wood hits it. And then, Tim, you've been trying some Rock Mount Brutus, Polaris AAA, and Lincoln Excalibur here. What can you tell us about it? The 718 is good for the root passes. The Brutus A makes a really nice cover pass. That's where you see this right here. And then that Polaris Triple A, that shit stacks beautifully. That's definitely my favorite. Yeah, so on the Brutus, you have a little golden and shiny welds here, a little bit like stainless. You get a really good 
you get a really good high strength weld like hundred thousand in the hundred thirty thousands on the tensile strength if you don't watch it you can have a little inclusion here and there the Polaris is your 7018 on steroids essentially so this is an AR400 material this is like an eight-way wedge out of a commercial lock splitter and in order to in order to weld this up I mean here we gouged some stuff out in order to weld this up the right way we do some preheat with the oxyacetylene torch over there about to just shy of 400 this is either 5 eighths or 3 quarter material here and then we're stick welding this all up with this new HTP Inver Arc 160 plus how do you like the machine? the machine's good it's very convincing machine is good I was a little bit doubtful for its size, but it actually packs a punch. You crank it up when you need it, it burn everything perfect, even when it was windy earlier. So, Did you hit duty cycle yet today? Nope, I did not. Alright, so now we got to figure out the exact geometry, measure off the bottom here to make sure we're in the right location. Same back from the front face to the knife face, perfectly straight. So here, we're assured that on the bottom, the edge of the knife and the edge of this knife, it's the same distance on the bottom and on the top. Now we're going to be absolutely perpendicular here, like this. And now Tim is going to make it well along the back side. Okay, now, are we still straight? Yeah. Now make a little bit here and a little bit there, so when you when you heat it and then weld it, so it's all good to go. Sure. That's enough. Otherwise, it pulls too much. I wanted it to pull that way. Okay. Bit. Yeah, now just weld that guy in. And I'm gonna here, this, fix this with a little bit of the Polaris, just a cut. Mm -hmm. And then. I'll grind that flush and I'm gonna use this as a template to cut the one out for the other clip. Well I gotta see if that maybe I need to make a cardboard template. That may not be the same size. No, it's not. See how much smaller it is. Uh isn't the center isn't the center smaller? No, nope. all three are the same always. This is a different wedge from a different machine. Couple final corrections here to the alignment of that middle uh, cutting knife. Make sure everything is exactly perpendicular. Right, right there. Right there. Don't do any more. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, now weld a little bit on this side still. Put I the actually clamp on. feel like we Let's should lay it out a little bit better. I don't like how the front's like that. Oh, well, we're not enough yet. Take a tape measure. Measure tip to tip on this. You can tell how much how much more needs to go. I don't need to for that. Okay, measure this tip to this tip and this tip to this tip. Five and three eighths. And see five and three quarters. There you go. Five and a half and Five and a half on the other side, huh? Half, 
Well, if you do a little tack, it pulls it. Let's see. If you do a little tack here on this side again, yeah. it'll pull it five and three quarter, and this is what five and a half. It'll pull it over that little bit. Oh, it's almost there. So do a little tack on this side here and see what we got then. We'll put another one inch tack. Yes. Right here. Five and five eighths. Five and five eighths. That's exactly in the middle. Right. So now, when you do this, heat it all up evenly. Heat it all up evenly, and then try to weld a little bit. Make sure it's not getting out of. As you weld on it, monitor where it sits as far as okay. pulling over to one side. So should I weld? Maybe two more passes on the back to hold it. It'll help a little bit. And then start wrapping the corners around the back because the, that won't pull too much, but it'll give it some more strength. Going for a preheat here right around uh, 400 degrees. So, first making a black, then heating it till the black goes. That puts me right at the target temperature.